Have you ever thought what truly happens when people try to bring you down? As a chosen one, you possess a unique spiritual power that can turn the tables on those who wish you harm. Today, we're uncovering the extraordinary way the universe responds to those who wrong you and how your ultimate revenge is not just a fantasy, it's a powerful reality. Stay tuned to discover how your journey of spiritual growth leads to divine justice and reveals the true impact of negative actions. Trust me, you won't want to miss this. Let's start by describing who the hard chosen ones are. These are people who often feel a deep sense of meaning and link to a spiritual path. They are highly sensitive, insightful and pushed by a desire to seek truth and help others. This heightened awareness and sensitivity often set them apart from the general crowd, making them special in many ways. Take, for example, someone who has always felt a call to help others or to discover greater facts about life. Their deep drive and sensitivity can make them targets for criticism or misunderstanding. Their unique light can draw respect as well as envy, leading to difficulties that can be difficult to handle. For instance, a sensitive person might attract individuals who abuse their kindness or take advantage of their emotional giving. This abuse can lead to painful experiences, but it also works as a spark for personal growth and greater understanding. In the Bible, we find cases of the chosen ones surviving difficulty. For instance, Job was considered a good man who faced great pain. His story shows how lasting faith and morality lead to final heavenly justice and healing. Job's story teaches us that even those picked for great reasons may face trials, but their perseverance is eventually repaid. Consider Job's journey. Despite his constant pain and the loss of his wealth, health and family, Job kept his faith in God. His story is not just one of sadness, but of an eventual healing and gift far beyond what he had lost. This serves as a strong warning that trials faced by the Maya, chosen ones, are often a prelude to greater gifts and successes. The pain is part of a divine plan that leads to final justice and personal growth. Additionally, we see similar ideas in the stories of Moses and Joseph. Moses faced trials and rejection as he led the Israelites out of Egypt, but his loyalty and leadership were eventually repaid with the delivery of his people to the promised land. Joseph, sold into slavery by his own brothers, faced numerous trials, but his unwavering integrity and faith led him to become a powerful leader in Egypt, finally saving his family from famine. Their stories highlight that hardship faced by the chosen ones is a test that often leads to a significant and satisfying result. When someone hurts a chosen one, the effect goes far beyond instant pain. It often affects their mental state and general energy. You may notice feelings of being tired, nervous, or even physically sick when you face negativity. This harm isn't just physical or mental, it involves an energy trade. Negative actions and words can enter your energy field, causing changes that affect your mental and emotional well-being. It's similar to throwing a stone into a still pond, the waves of negativity spread and impact every part of your life. For example, if someone sends sharp criticism or evil talk your way, it can create a rippling effect that upsets your inner peace and affects your interactions with others. The Bible gives insight into how such hurt can greatly affect a person. In Psalm 109, David prays for relief from those who are unfairly hurting him. This psalm clearly shows the pain and emotional turmoil caused by being attacked by others. David's plea for justice and comfort 
shows the deep effect that negativity can have on one's spirit and mental state. Another example is found in the story of King David and Saul. Despite David's dedication and service, Saul held deep jealousy and sought to harm him. David's experience shows the pain of deception and the mental strain it can impose. Yet David's eventual rise to the throne and his continued faithfulness show that such trials can lead to eventual justice and healing. Moreover, the New Testament also touches on this idea. In Matthew 5.11-12, Jesus tells his followers, Blessed are you when people insult you, attack you, and wrongly say all kinds of evil against you because of me. Rejoice and be glad, because great is your prize in heaven. This passage underscores that suffering for a good cause is accepted and honored by divine justice. Let's explore karma, often simplified as what goes around comes around, but it's a much deeper, more complex rule. Karma ensures that the energy you send out into the world finally returns to you. Imagine karma as a cosmic return. If someone sends hatred or hurt toward you, that energy is sure to return to them soon. This comeback might not be instant, but it will appear. For example, if someone betrays you or acts cruelly, they will face consequences that match their actions. This might mean facing similar deception or meeting difficulties in their own lives. It's like a mirror mirroring the energy one puts out. Biblically, this idea is mirrored in Galatians 6-7, which says, Do not be deceived. God cannot be mocked. A man reaps what he sows. This quote encapsulates the idea that our actions, whether good or bad, have effects that eventually come back to us. It's a spiritual concept of balance and fairness. Additionally, Proverbs 11.18 tells us, A wicked man makes false pay, but one who sows justice reaps a sure prize. This supports the idea that those who engage in wrongdoing will finally face the fruits of their actions, while those who act righteously will be paid. The concept of karma fits with the biblical teaching that divine justice is inherent in the world. The idea is that the world works on a concept of balance, ensuring that every action has a matching response. This universal law keeps balance, ensuring that good and bad actions are met with suitable results. So, how can you tell if you're under psychic attack? Here are some signs to be aware of. If you find yourself feeling overly tired with no clear reason, it may signal that bad energy is affecting you. This tiredness can be widespread and affect your daily activities, making even simple jobs feel heavy. Emotional problems such as worry, sadness or mood swings that seem inappropriate to the situations might signal foreign negative effects. You may feel emotions that are out of sync with your present state. Experiencing headaches, stomach aches or other bodily discomforts can be symptoms of an energy attack. These symptoms can appear without any medical reason and might continue despite standard care. The Bible also recognizes these problems. Ephesians 6.12 states, For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. This passage highlights the spiritual dimension of our struggles indicating that attacks can have both emotional and physical manifestations. Additionally, 1 Peter 5.8 warns, Be aware and of clear mind. Your enemy, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion looking for someone to eat. This emphasizes the truth of spiritual attacks and the need to remain alert and aware. How can you protect yourself from bad influences? 
Here are some efficient methods. Establishing clear mental and energy limits is important. Be clear about what you will and will not accept in terms of behavior and contact. Setting limits helps to protect your energy and well-being by stopping others from encroaching on your personal space or mental health. Regular meditation, visualization methods and energy clearing practices can help keep a safe wall around your energy. Visualization practices, like imagining a safe circle of light surrounding you, can strengthen your sense of security and ward off bad influences. Meditation helps calm your mind and heart, providing a strong base of inner peace. Crystals such as black tourmaline, obsidian and amethyst can be powerful tools for protecting your energy. These stones are known for their protective qualities and can help receive and repel bad energy. Carrying or putting these rocks around your living space can form a shield against dangerous effects. In the Bible, safety is also stressed. Psalm 91, 4 says, He will cover you with his feathers, and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and rampart. This verse suggests that divine protection is available to those who seek it, reinforcing the idea of shielding oneself from negativity through spiritual faith and practices. Furthermore, Proverbs 18.10 states, The name of the Lord is a protected tower, the righteous run to it and are safe. This verse highlights the idea of heavenly protection as a stronghold against evil and harm. What happens to those who try to hurt you? Typically, they face the consequences of their acts in their own lives. Consider a person who constantly acts badly or hurtfully. They may face emotional or business losses as a result of their deeds. For example, a co-worker who under Ines you might face isolation or job problems due to their own behavior. Similarly, someone who shares talk about you might find themselves the subject of similar gossip or face breakdowns in their own relationships. The Bible reflects this principle in Proverbs 26, 27. Whoever digs a pit will fall into it. If someone rolls a stone, it will roll back on them. This verse conveys the idea that those who plan harm for others may ultimately bring harm upon themselves, illustrating the natural balance of justice and retribution. Additionally, in Matthew 7, 2, Jesus teaches, For in the same way you judge others, you will be judged, and with the measure you use, it will be given to you. This supports the idea that our actions especially those meant to harm others, come back to affect us. Another important story is that of Haman in the book of Esther. Haman's plan to destroy the Jewish people backfires and he ends up facing the results of his own schemes. His demise serves as a strong example of how bad intentions toward others can eventually lead to one's downfall. As a chosen one, accepting your journey despite hardship is important. Every difficulty you face is a chance for growth and learning. Remember, you're not alone. The universe supports you and your good energy can greatly affect the world around you. By being focused on your path and developing a positive attitude, you protect yourself and improve your ability to reach your greatest potential. Every challenge you face helps to strengthen your spirit and connect you with your true mission. Embracing difficulties as part of your journey helps you to grow stronger and more robust. The Bible supports this view in James 1, 2-4. Consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of many kinds, because you know that the testing of your faith creates steadfastness. Let patience finish its work, so that you may be grown and complete, not wanting anything. This text supports seeing trials 
as chances for spiritual growth and development. Moreover, Romans 5, 3-4 adds, Not only so, but we also rejoice in our sufferings, because we know that pain produces perseverance, perseverance, character, and character, hope. This verse shows that the trials we endure contribute to our spiritual growth and hope. Forgiveness is important for going forward. It doesn't mean accepting what was done to you, but it involves releasing the pull that pain has on your life. Imagine carrying a heavy bag filled with rocks, each representing a hurt or betrayal. By accepting, you choose to let go of that weight, allowing yourself to move forward easier and more easily. This act of letting go helps you release the energy ties to past hurts and allows you to focus on positive growth. Biblically, forgiveness is a repeating theme. In Matthew 6, 14 to 15, Jesus says, For if you forgive other people when they sin against you, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if you do not forgive others their sins, your Father will not forgive your sins. Forgiveness is not just for the benefit of the one who has hurt you, but also for your own spiritual well-being and happiness. In Colossians 3.13, Paul says, Bear with each other and forgive one another if any of you has a gripe against someone. Forgive as the Lord forgave you. This verse underscores that forgiveness is a divine principle that matches us with God's own forgiveness and fosters healing in our lives. Forgiveness is also about freeing yourself from the mental chains that bind you. By letting go of hatred and anger, you open yourself up to healing and good change. This process is important for keeping your mental health and going forward on your road. The spread effect of optimism is incredibly powerful. When you rise above criticism and focus on creating positive energy, you create waves of goodwill and inspiration that can influence those around you. Consider how a single act of kindness can inspire others. Your good energy can set off a chain reaction, leading to more acts of kindness and support in your life and the lives of others. A simple expression of care towards someone in need can encourage them to pass that kindness forward, creating a network of happiness that stretches far beyond your initial action. The Bible also supports this idea. In Galatians 6.9 it is written, Let us not become tired in doing good, for at the right time we will reap a harvest if we do not give up. This verse shows the importance of persistence in happiness and kindness, suggesting that our good acts have a lasting effect. Moreover, in Proverbs 11.25 we are told, A giving person will succeed, Whoever refreshes others will be refreshed. This verse emphasizes the reciprocal nature of kindness and how it benefits both the giver and the receiver. Remember that as a chosen one. You have the power to rise above negativity and transform challenges into opportunities for growth. Trust in the process of karma. Embrace your spiritual journey and protect your energy with positive practices. Your journey is unique and valuable, and each step you take toward personal growth contributes to the greater good. If you found this video insightful, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our channel for more inspiring content. I'd love to hear about your experiences with karma and how you've managed negativity Share your stories in the comments below. Thank you for being with me today. Continue to shine your light brightly and stay upbeat. Until next time, take care and stay blessed.